Now, most people who are coming to your church on a Sunday morning, they're coming to see if you had them in mind when you set the table. And a good host not only thinks about what they want to serve, but, but a good host figures out what they're going to serve based on who's coming to the table. Our job is to set the table. You can set the table one of two ways. You can set the table based on who's already coming, who's already at the table, or you can do the harder thing and you can set the table according to who you want to come to the table. Now, now for some people, those two things are the same. They, they might say, hey, we, we don't want to get into the weeds of trying to be a diverse church. We want to be a white church. I mean, plenty of black church pastors who say, I have no interest in being a diverse anything. We are a black church. We're a black, blackity black church. I make no apologies. That's who I, that's fine. But just say that and let everybody know so they can make an informed decision. What I have a problem with is when you say, I want our church to look like heaven. Which heaven? Like which corner of heaven? Like if, if you want diversity and that's, that's what you're saying on your website and that's what you're saying to the people of color who are ha- hanging on and, and, and hoping you get there someday, then we have this burden from heaven, I believe, to set the table based on not, not just who's there already, but who do we want to come. Okay, we know who's coming, but who's, who's missing? Who do we want to be at the table? And so you may be an overwhelmingly white church and you just never sat down and said, you know what? We would love if our church looked actually looked like heaven's going to look. We have access to diversity in this community. There's African-American community. There's a Hispanic community. There's Asian community. There's all these different pockets of culture. We don't have that at our church. Like, let's sit down and let's pray loud, long prayers that God's kingdom will come in our context so that those who are absent from the table might begin to show up. People gather around tables that they want to eat at. Now, most people who are coming into your church on a Sunday morning, they aren't constrained by like calling. They're coming to see if you have ha- if you had them in mind when you set the table, when you stack the set, when you decided who would lead and who doesn't lead. People gather around tables that have been set for them at the expense of those who are already there and who are comfortable with what's being served. They might say, well, I mean, why are we doing this? Why are we singing a bilingual song? There's no Hispanic people here. And you might say, well, we want them to come. And if one happened to just stumble in here because they mixed up the address, <laughs> they might feel at home if they get to worship at least a few, at least in the chorus, in their, in their heart language, we're setting the table for who's, who we want to come. This is just setting the table for who we want to come is, is also a, a way of informing the people who are already there that there, that we need to make some room at the table.